Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video and today I will keep it short and simple with the intro and we have an iPad Air 2 LTE version model A1567 came for us to bypass the iCloud now this is the LTE version so it will need a hardware bypass only hardware bypass and I'm going to show you that this method is working with the latest iOS 15.3 so let's begin by removing the board and here's the board, but uh, I would like to mention that I made a video before about iPad Pro 9.7 inch uh, iCloud hardware bypass, which is, shows a small map for bypassing iCloud using hardware method. You can check it out in the description down below. And of course, Apple patched the iPad 5 and Mini 4 and iPad Air 2 for iCloud bypassing by changing the serial number. But today I'm happy to announce that there is a new serial numbers to make sure that your iPad is activating properly. So this one will need to remove the Wi-Fi IC and replace it with Wi-Fi IC from a Wi-Fi version iPad. And of course, converting the iPad from LTE version to Wi-Fi version. And the last thing is to change the system configuration. Of course, all of the steps I'll be showing in this video, so make sure to watch it till the end. So first thing is first, converting the iPad from LTE version to Wi-Fi version. Very simple but very important step by just making a jumper on R0505 and the iPad will automatically go to day view mode and recognize your iPad as Wi-Fi version. Second is change the serial number. Now I will leave it uh, for the last step because I'm not going to remove the NAND and I will be doing this with purple mode. And the last but not least is changing the Wi-Fi chip, which is also very important uh, to have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth function back. Previously you can do it with jailbreak, but now it's just stuck with removing the chip. And of course, those are the supported version for the Wi-Fi version chips. As always, I'm going to speed up uh, the restore part. Now the hardware part is over. Everything after that is going to be software stuff. Uh, so the iPad is in the DFU mode and the serial number is still the original. And of course, I'm doing this uh, to make sure that my iPad will go to Wi-Fi version and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is working. So after the restore process is finished, we need to enter purple mode to change the system configuration, which is the last step for this bypass. Alrighty, we restored our iPad and as you can see, no IME, only serial number, original serial number for now, so that means that we successfully changed our iPad version to Wi-Fi version. And now for the last part, which is entering the purple mode, of course there is more than one way to enter purple mode, but I'm going to use the most easy one, which is using Purple Pro. Uh, now it's not the most strongest exploit, but it works properly. If you don't have macOS, you can use uh, GC Programmer or MFC software on Windows. Uh, of course, I will leave all the link, uh, a link for all the tools that I'm using in the description down below. And after that, I'm going to switch to my Windows PC to change the system configuration. So here we are in GC Programmer software on Windows. Also, don't forget you need a DCSD cable so that you can access the system configuration on the NAND and change them. So I'm using my GC box today and you need also to change four things here. Uh, the first is the serial number. The second and the third are the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC addresses and also the model to a Wi-Fi model. It's of course optional, but I do it all the time. And after that, we will need to restore because every time you change the serial number or any device, you need to restore the device so it can be activated properly. So I'm going to go to the restore process and then I will catch you uh, on the activation process. Hello, says my iPad. And as you can see, we finally changed the serial number and now we're going to activate our iPad. 
and also very important to sign in with your iCloud after the activation because the serial number comes from China and it could be used many times so definitely sign in with your iCloud and of course this also works with the latest iOS 15.3.1 and the iOS 15.4 beta so by the time you watch this video those two versions will be signed or unsigned uh, because previously you couldn't remove iCloud from iPad Air 2 because of Apple server patches but here we go again serial number from Aliexpress and you're good to go so as you can see the Wi-Fi is working touch ID yep can read my finger let's go and complete the activation and uh, also before we finish uh, I would like to mention something very quick but let's just continue our activation enable location yep everything looks okay so yeah the activation process is okay uh, before we finish uh, i would like to mention that i made a patreon there are some interesting stuff that i will be posting only on patreon so of course if you want to support me make sure to join my patreon and i guess uh, yep that's it for this video thanks for watching if the video if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.